While providing care for the sick and injured, St Thomas's Hospital was also a significant contributor to the local economy in Southwark and the City of London, providing employment for tradesmen and buying local goods and services. The medical students who arrived each autumn often rented accommodation in the local area. For example, John Keats, who trained as a surgeon apothecary before turning to poetry, had lodgings in St Thomas's Street while he was a student at St Thomas's and Guy's Hospitals. The medical booksellers and the surgical instruments shop in St Thomas's Street during the 19th century would have been patronised by hospital staff and students, and other tools and goods were sourced from local suppliers. This mortar, for example, is likely to have been made at the Beardmore Foundry in the Barbican area of London in the 18th century. Apothecaries used pestles and mortars for pounding, mashing and grinding down ingredients so that they could be made into medicines for patients. An apothecary would have had a range of mortars in different sizes and materials for different purposes and ingredients. Mortars made from brass, bronze and iron were used for harder materials such as resins, firm spices or bark. Bell metal mortars were often made in bell foundries and a number of surviving mortars with similar decoration have been traced to the Beardmore foundry. When used, the metal rings with a bell-like sound. The use of metal mortars declined by the end of the 18th century due to the risks of contamination from copper-based metals and because of the arrival of new porcelain mortars developed by Wedgwood. In the 19th century, there was an increasing preference for using machines for grinding and mortars came to be used much less frequently in medicine making. <laughs>